All right, welcome everybody. Today we're going to um, set up a, uh, a bioactive enclosure for our Damon Midius, which is the, uh, the Western Tailless Whip Scorpion. So these guys like a real high humidity, so I've decided that we're going we're gonna to set up a, a bioactive so we can have some plants and bits and pieces. And what we're going to do, we're going to use an Exoterra, and this is a 30 by 30 by 45. And I've got some bits prepared. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with, we're going to put our media, our clay balls in. Now this here, this, this is for, we're going to put this in a corner, like so. What is it? This here is so that when we put our clay balls in, as you will see. Now for those of you who have not, not done a bioactive setup, the clay balls are here to give us an area below them Where the water settles, I think that'll be enough in there. I don't need too much. Now what we do, now you notice this is just a, a drinks bottle. And um, what we've done is we've cut it open and we've left um, a little gap in here. And this is so that when the water drains through the soil, because there'll be soil in here as well, when the, the, we put the matting on, which stops the soil coming through into the clay balls. So that means that this bottom section here can stay wet. If it gets too full of water, we can take the lid off of this and we can siphon the water out. So it gives us control of our environment. So what we do now is we've, we've got our, there we go. We don't need to be too, too crazy on this. This is just purely to, to stop the soil from getting down inside the thing, inside the clay balls. Now then, everything that you see that we get that we're going to put in here has pretty much come from the wild. This is um, natural bark, which has come straight off of a fallen tree. So I've cut this to size to fit in here. So what we're going to do is we're literally just going to offer it up. As we can see there, that's a fine size, perfect size. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fill up with some substrate. And we're using some of our beastie substrate. We're also going to use mix in some peat. Uh, this is just I say peat. It's, this is just a, a normal everyday potting compost. I'm just going to mix that around like in there, like so. As you can see, this stuff here is, it's got like a topsoil in it. It's also very, very peaty. So it'll give us nice, it will retain the moisture really, really well. We put a bit of our stuff in there and that will just help it out. Stick a little bit in here. You see, we've covered up the, uh, the lid to our pot. A little bit more in there. All being well, we can still get our bit of wood in. Now, what we're going to do is 
I'm going to put this in here. will do, this will allow them to get behind it, because as you all know the uh, the Taylor Swift Scorpion is, is in fact a, an arboreal species. And what we've got is another bit of decoration. This again is another piece of uh, timber. This is very old and as you can see very dry. It's got some bit of lichen and what have you going on in it as well. So that should look nice as well. And what we're looking for is giving these guys plenty of places in which to climb and do their thing because they don't really come down onto the floor. There we go. That. We don't want that ugly looking thing there, do we? Plonk that up there for now. I get to see a little bit of what's going on. And then we've also got some moss, some carpet moss again. This has all been collected straight from the wild and we're using it literally straight from the wild. So what we'll do is have a little look at it, see where we want to get our pieces. Now again, the moss will lock in the moisture from the soil. And this will give us our humidity. We can take this out like this. Just tuck that in there like that. Just like laying carpet. And then what we're going to do is we're going to leave that little bit. Actually, we'll take that out for a moment. We've got, we've got a couple of plants to go in. Right. Sorry about this jump in the video. My phone has actually just packed up. And it packed up while we were doing the moss, that we did, but we didn't actually realize it had packed up recording. And uh, we've tried doing it again and it won't have it. So now we've moved to camera lady's phone. And as you'll see, we've already put these couple of plants in. So we're getting ready. You've not really missed much to be fair. So we're gonna give it all a good spray down. So it's literally just two plants, that's all you've missed. And where they can hide. Yep, yeah. and we've designed this, put a water bowl up here. We've designed this because the Damon Medius, or the, the Western Taylor's Whip Scorpion, as I said in the beginning, is an arboreal species. And they can use both sides of this log, they can get in behind here. So they can get behind there. They can also get behind the natural bark that we have on the back. They can get behind there. They won't really go on the floor as such. So this is going to give them plenty of arboreal solutions. And then with all of this moss coming in, these guys like a very, very humid uh, environment. Up around 75, 80% humidity, which is incredibly high. That is really, really high air humidity. And... Um, and that is how they do best. That is where they do best. The other thing to remember is these are pretty much nocturnal creatures as well. So we don't really expect to see them in the daytime. Uh, the, the lighting is on here really purely for the plants. To give the plants a real good thing. Plus the fact we like to see it as well. So what we're going to do without further ado is we're going to... We've got them here. These are our new additions. I think what we'll do is we'll do the female first. Now this is the female, hopefully she won't take off out of the box straight away. Now these 
do look rather fearsome, but they are entirely harmless. And as you can see there, they've got incredibly long antenna. These are the antenna here. Very, very long. Now the females have a short arm. And this is how you tell them apart. When you see the male, you'll understand what we're talking about. You can see the spikes on the, on the arms there. These are how she catches her prey and forces it between the arm. And then that way she impales it on them spikes. What we're going to do now is we're going to see if we can't get her out. She's very placid. Oh, look at that. There you go, girl. Very, very placid. She looks lovely in her new home. You all right there, girl? All right. Now then, this is the male. What a different creature he is. And you can see the difference with the size of the arm. Absolutely huge in comparison to her. So yeah, we can actually see them together here. Just about make them out. He's quite a bit bigger than her. So let's see if we can get him out. He's got extremely long antenna. Here he comes. I would like you to go on the wood rather than... Isn't that incredible? That is amazing. Look at the length of those antenna. There he goes. He's creeping on. You see they're perfectly harmless. Don't hide away just yet. We're not finished looking at you. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> yeah, a little bit camera shy is our male. There he goes. Searching out somewhere to hide already. Look at that, he's gone straight behind the bark. Oh yeah, he says, I like it behind there. Nice and dark and out of the way. So then, as we've ascertained, these, these guys are completely harmless, fairly straightforward to look after, as long as you can keep the humidity up. And they don't actually eat a lot either. So um, you're looking at maybe one or two meals every couple of weeks. You know, they, they're not big eaters. So um, these guys are going to stay in here, and we've got a pair here, so hopefully we can breed them. We're going to give it a go, see what happens. And with this XO, we've obviously got the mesh roof up on the top here. So we're going to see how that responds in terms of humidity. And if we can't keep the humidity up, then we'll cover part of the mesh up, and that will increase the humidity within the tank. Uh, Temperature-wise, these guys like it fairly warm as well, up in the 80s, sort of um, latter part of the 70s, 70, sort of 6, 77. They don't really want to go much below 75. Um, and they'll take temperatures quite high. These guys come from all over Africa, so uh, they're used to good temperatures. But like we said earlier on, um, these, these guys are pretty much nocturnal. So you're not really going to see a great deal of them. But hopefully, when we come around and do our nighttime tours, which we are going to be doing one very, very shortly because everything's hungry at the minute. So hopefully we'll get to get some good nighttime footage and a bit of luck, these guys will be out and about as well and uh, we'll, we'll perhaps catch a, a view of those. Right then, well that's our Damon Midius, the um, tailless, or a Western tailless whip scorpion. Hopefully that little husbandry video there will help you out. And if you do intend on getting these guys, this is, this is the best way to keep them as far as we're concerned. And, uh, and it, it should work out really well. So then, hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget, be calm, be gentle, and love your spider.